and welcome back to another video. This is Flower Heart Plans. My name is Harley and today I'm going to be decorating a week of daily pages in my B6dology and we are going to jump right into it. So I am using this sticker book by American Crafts. It is a very old sticker book. It is from 2017 and I'm using this to kind of show you that you don't need all the new shiny things, the new shiny stickers or sticker books or sticker kits. You can pull stuff that you have in your stash, even if it's old and not trendy. You can use things that you already have and that's what I'm going to do. This is a seasonal sticker book. I've used most of the Christmas, fall and summer stickers, but there are some spring stickers that I have not used. So we have this page of box stickers, this page, some checklists and headers, and these stickers. And that's all that we have to work with in this sticker book, but I think we have enough to do what we need to do. And then I pulled in some washi from my stash from different places like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Amazon. And then I have some tumble markers Zig clean color dot markers that match the stickers. I don't think I'm going to use all these markers or maybe not all the washi tape, but we have enough to pull something together. So to get started, I'm going to do a quick flip of how I usually plan in my B6dology in case you are new here and are not familiar with my planning style. So I'm just going to move all of this off to the side. And let's open her up. So the current week that we are on is April 1st through the 7th. Today is Saturday the 6th. So this week is already decorated and close to done. The next week that I decorated was April 4th through the 14th. And so I will show you this um, as an example of how I decorate because it's pretty plain so far because I haven't written any plans in it yet. I like to plan either the night before or the morning of. That's when I really know what I can add to my to-do list and what I have the energy for, what I have the time for, if anything came up you know, previously that I need to incorporate into my daily plans. I look at my weekly dashboard to see what I need to add there. But having said all that, I do a weekly dashboard with a to-do list, a notes area, some habit trackers, and some decorative elements. And then I have a day per page. So on my daily pages, I have some decorative elements for sure, but then I have a checklist. These are priority items for the day, including appointments. Like if I have an appointment, like I did today, a hair appointment, I will put it in this priority section. And then I have a notes area, a meal tracker, and then an area to write anything else about the day, a little blurb about the day, journaling, anything that doesn't fit in these other categories. So I do a day per page and that is my week. So we are going to set up for the week of April 15th through 21st. And like I said in my previous videos, I am planning ahead in my stology. It makes me feel more at ease to know that next week is already decorated so I don't have to rush. I could write in plans now if I want to. For now, I've been using this notes area to write in plans for next week, which I don't really have much except to schedule my doctor's appointments. But we are going to get into the decorating and before I do anything, I am going to zoom in because I realize that you're zoomed out and won't be able to see much of what I'm doing in terms of the decoration. So let me zoom in. That's better. And I also want to apologize for any darkness or shadows in the video. I am filming in the evening. I usually film Saturday mornings when it's nice, bright, sunny outside, but I'm filming in the evening right now and there is not a lot of daylight coming through the window. So we are working with lamps and I hope it's bright enough that you could see what I'm doing. If not, then I will fix it for future videos, but this is what we have to work with right now. So let's get started with the weekly dashboard. 
And for the weekly dashboard, I am going to choose which washi tape I want to use. I'm thinking I will go with this spring floral washi tape at the bottom. And I could do, I could really do any of these skinny washi tapes at the top. These pinks are pretty similar. But I think I'll go with the dotted pink, the darker pink at the top of this one. So I will put those off to the side and this spread will look very um, chaotic in terms of color and pattern, but I feel like bright colors is what spring is about. So I'm actually okay with mixing and matching so many colors and patterns. So now is a good time for me to ask, how are you all doing? I hope you are doing well. I hope you are having a good week, a good start to your April. If you are watching this at the beginning of April, when the video comes out. And I hope you are enjoying the weather where you are. It has been rainy and gloomy here in Chicago, but I'm not going to complain because at least it's not snowing like it did last week. That was not fun. Um, so I usually put a box to put the dates in at the top. So I don't think I have any boxes in here. So what I'm going to do is get the colorful boxes sticker book by the Happy Planner. And I have this one next to me. So we will choose something from here and we can do something bright if we want because these are spring colors and I'm thinking this green would go, the yellow would go. What's the difference between these and these? I think these are longer. These might be for monthly boxes. Oh, I also have another colorful box of sticker book by the Happy Planner. Let's see if we can pull something from here because I'm trying to use up sticker books and sticker pages and I'm hoping that at some point I can use up all of the stickers in one of these colorful boxes sticker books that I have because I have two of this kind and then I have the mega. So let's see what color we want to use here. Let's go with blue. No, that blue doesn't match. Let's go with this green, this blue green color. And it looks like my lights are also flickering. I'm not sure what that's about. Hopefully it's not noticeable in the video. If it is, I, again, I apologize. I don't usually film under these bright lights. I usually prefer daylight, natural sunlight to film under, but. We have to use what we have. So this is for the 15th through the 21st. And I'm going to do my same layout. I said this in the last video and I'm going to say it again. I have found a layout that works for me and that's what I'm going to stick to for now until it no longer works. But for now it's working. So I'm going to put a checklist here and I don't think we have any checklist boxes. We do not. So these are the stickers we have to work with. These are cute, but I'll come back to these if I need them. I don't think there's much else in there. Oh wait, these are summer stickers. Yeah, those are for summer. Okay. So what I could do is just put down a header and then I'll put down a, let's see, remember today, don't forget. I'll put down the don't forget. And then I don't think these are going to line up with the boxes. 
So what I could do is use a clean Zig Clean Color dot marker, maybe yellow, and just put down some check boxes. And that's easy enough. The weekly checklist is done. I do want habit trackers and I keep random sticker pages around me. So I do have these um, pages from different Happy Planner sticker books, uh, an American Craft sticker book, some recollections stickers. I think I'm going to use it looks like I only have flags left on these two pages. These were my favorite habit trackers by the Happy Planner. They were the pastel uh, colors. And I really love that colorway, but I still have flags left on here. So I'm gonna keep the pages, but there are no habit trackers to work with from there. I don't need these. So we have these, which are pretty bright. And then we have these, which are also pretty bright. I think I'll go with the Practice This Week uh, stickers. These are from a Happy Planner sticker book. I don't remember which one specifically. But we can put these right, I'll line it up right about here. We can use the yellow, the pink, of course. this green, mint green color. And then we have room for one more. We can use the light purple. There isn't much purple in the stickers, but I do like that color scheme that we have going on there. And the habits that I'm going to track are, I usually track my studying. I'm currently studying for the CPA exams, which are for accounting. And I need to do that every day. So let's put studying. Reading is a habit that I'm trying to cultivate. I enjoy reading. I just don't make the time for it as much as I would like. So I'm reading for 20 to 30 minutes, more like 25 to 30 minutes each day. Hopefully I can get like an hour that would be ideal, but I have to read in the pockets of my day. So let's put reading, um, walking. I'm trying to get back into exercise also, but I'm taking it slow. Walking is something that I can do relatively easily. And then tidying up is something that I have been good at but I need to keep it on my habit trackers. I didn't have it the past few weeks and I miss having something that I check off um, regularly because the studying, reading and walking, I'm kind of iffy on if I do them or not, but the tidying up I've been doing almost every day. Um, so I like having something to check off. It makes me feel accomplished. So we will put those there and then we will put down a decorative box like I always do. And I think I was going to say I would use this floral, but then it looks like I'm trying to match it to the washi tape, which doesn't match exactly. So I won't do that. Let's do this one, the flowers in the vase. And there is space underneath. Let's see if we can fit anything else. I think because I put down this last habit tracker, it took up more space than I anticipated. So, okay, so let's see. We could put maybe, I don't think there's any decoration, like any deco in here. Let's take a look. I think it might be mixed in with all the holidays together. So there are some flowers on here we could use. There are some flowers on here and here. Yeah. 
So let's put that back over there. Let's put those over there and let's find some flowers. Maybe a ladybug. Is a ladybug spring themed? And let me get my tweezers because my fingers sometimes get in the way. Um, I don't like the ladybug there, but I, I will use it at some point, just not there. So let's put this back on the sticker paper. Where did I get this from? Let's just put it here. And I would like flowers. I'm not going to find what I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do instead is use washi strip, um, the washi, not washi, sticker strip. Let's use one of these. Let's use one from this page and let's go with the scalloped washi. I keep wanting to call it washi strip, but it's not washi tape. It's a sticker strip. Let's see if this will tear. It does. So we'll put it on either side of the habit trackers like that. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. It's not straight. Do I want to straighten it? It doesn't look straight, but I'm not sure how lopsided it is. I can't really tell from this angle. Good enough. And then we can put the rest of it back onto the sticker paper. Okay, so I do want a notes area and I have the calendar sticker book by Recollections. They don't have these at Michael's anymore, but oh, I thought I had one that said notes. I have another one of these right here and I use all the notes on that one. I guess I really like that note sticker. So what else could we put there? I want something to reflect that this is a notes area for this week and a little area to write down next week's plans before I actually decorate next week. I'm not sure how to denote that though. What should we use? Let's see, I do have this sticker book that we could try to pull in. My desk is such a mess. I have stuff all over the place, which is why when I'm planning, I try to put sticker books, sticker pages back in the books they go in, but sometimes I don't and it just creates a big old mess. So let's see. I like this yellow color. Um, I don't need another checklist. I want it to be notes. So I'm thinking we go with the yellow one of this, which is for this week. And I think I'll turn it sideways. And then next week we can just put in, do we have a smaller, we do have a smaller box. These might be a good size. Or maybe, yeah, I'll just use the same size box, but I will use the purple one with the dot grid inside. And I'll put it here. And then because I do like to fill in every space that is available to me, I'm gonna put something here. And I do have the Spring Allure sticker book by Live Love Posh. And there are quotes in the back here. So let me just see if there are quotes I could use here. We could do Hello Spring. We also have it on clear sticker paper, which might be better. 
even though technically the first official day of spring was, I think, March 19th. And again, my fingers get in the way. So let's just put this here. I guess I could have used the one that was on white sticker paper because it, it doesn't really overlap that much with, oh, you can't even see it. I'm at the bottom of the frame. So do I want a header that says this week and next week? I kind of do but I don't have any. I could either make my own or I could just remember what these are for. That might be my best bet because I don't have any header stickers. I used to make my own stickers that say this week and next week on them, but my Cricut started acting up, so I haven't printed my stickers in a while. Well, I think it was mostly my printer that was acting up. This sticker is more fall color colorway, but I'll use it still. Okay, so the weekly dashboard is done. This is still lopsided. I can't figure out where. The Stalogy paper does have lines in it, but for some reason, I'm having trouble. <laughs> I'm still having trouble lining things up. Okay, so let's do each day. And I usually go off, put the washi tape down on my own, but I'm not certain what washi tape I'm going to use. So we used this combination for the weekly dashboard. I'm thinking, I'm not sure. I'll use the green with the butterfly, this with the orange grid, the yellow grid, and this like this. I'm gonna go off, put down these combinations of washi tape alternating on the pages, and I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. I have put down the washi tape on all of the pages, and like I said before, it's not going to really coordinate exactly, but I like the brightness of the washi tape. And I also put down the date dots. I used the dates from a random sticker page from an American Crafts sticker book. I don't remember which one because I tear out the pages of my sticker books and use them sometimes individually. So I don't remember which American Crafts sticker book this was, but it was a really old one. And then I use date dots from the Numbers and Days sticker book by Agenda 52 at Hobby Lobby. So I will put that page back in. I used the green days with the yellow date dots. So those sticker books are done and now we get to decorate each day. So to do that, I like to put a decorative box and these boxes from the American Crafts sticker book are smaller than a standard size box. So they might not line up exactly with the day cover that I put down, but I'm actually okay with that. So uh, let's see, I was gonna use this one that says I've got sunshine on a cloudy day for Monday, but I feel like it's too much yellow, this orangish yellow color. So let's choose a different sticker. How about we just choose this patterned one that has all the colors in it. And I will skip a line and put that box down there. Oh, it is the same size. I thought it was smaller than a standard size, but maybe, maybe I'm just used to happy planner stickers that are taller. Um, and I will put this one down on Tuesday. Just so I have some place to stick it. And I will try to decorate a day at a time. That seems to be easiest for me to do. So I will put down a header. Let's do remember 
right here. My checklist will be up here, my important items. This will just be a notes section. How will I denote that? Maybe, where did I put it? I could either look in here or here, the Colorful Boxes Sticker Books by The Happy Planner. And let's take a look at this one first. So, I want kind of a regular sized box. So, we have these, the colors don't necessarily match. We have these. Those, and then we have silver, black, and gold. So these are my choices. I think, I think I'm okay with them not matching exactly. So we'll put down this sticker here. Oh yeah, I see. I'm used to Happy Planner stickers. These are smaller than Happy Planner stickers. So let's not do that. And that actually came up really nicely. Let's put this back on the sticker paper and think of something else that lines up a little bit better. I could draw in the box, but I'm scared to do that because I don't draw straight lines. I have a bit of a shaky hand and I don't really draw straight lines. Yeah, we don't have anything in there. I think I'm just going to try it. So let's use the green. I have not swatched these, but I like to live on the edge. We're going to be a little bit dangerous and we're just going to, I also want a box for my meals and I don't have those either. So let's draw in the box for the meals first. Oh, I want the other end. The Tombow markers that I have, have the standard brush tip and then it has the nib that you could write smaller with. So for my meal, it goes to this line. Let's do that and it's hard to see. Maybe I should outline it in pen also. Let's go around it one more time with the yellow, trying not to get too much bleed through. That looks really messy, but it's done. So I'm not going to outline it in black for the other days or the other rectangles, but I will go around that one twice. Let's see if there's bleed through. They're shadowing. So these are going to be notes that I write. Sometimes it does end up being like a checklist. Uh, I don't really have a good example. Sometimes this does end up being a checklist because that's how I think sometimes in bullet points, but not all the time and I want space to just write. So we have that one there. And then we can put our today header. Can you, I'm not sure if you can see. It's like in between yellow and green. It kind of matches my sweatshirt now that I think about it. But it's um not as bright as the other colors on the stickers. And then this is where I will use the checklists. And I don't think they line up with the dot grid or the grid but we will still use them there. And this will be just for decoration. So let's see, we have some deco on here. Let's use the flower pot there. That's cute. I wish I had quotes. Oh, 
Let's go back to the Allure sticker book and see if there were smaller quotes in here. And Live, Love, Posh. I don't know if they always did this, but they started putting their sticker books on perforated sticker pages so they're easy to tear out, which I appreciate because I do like to tear out my pages. I hesitate it because I see now that there are stickers in here that I could use for my meals. Unless, wait, let's just go back to this for a second. Oh wait, the Happy Planner ones are wider. Are these wider also? Yes, these are the size of the Happy Planner small stickers. So, well, that's not going to work. Let me just stick with what I've been doing. I don't love this one at the bottom, but I'm going to kind of ignore that for now and find a quote to go here. I think I want one on paper. None of these seem to go well unless I use Blossom Filled Days. I don't really like any of these quotes for this page, but I will keep my eye out for, keep my brain working for other pages of quotes I might have for spring. So let's move on to Tuesday. For Tuesday, let's do the same thing, um, only because I don't know what else to do. So we're gonna put down this sticker and then let's use pink. Um, I went down to about the 20 mark. And I'm making it kind of messy on purpose just because the lines are not straight. So I want it to look like it's not straight on purpose. Um, and then let's use, did I use, I used the yellow. But I feel like there's a lot of green on this page already. Let's do green anyway. The green is really light. Oh, and what I could do to make this not as hideous, <laughs> I shouldn't say that, uh, it's a learning experience. So, in the calendar sticker book, there are pages with icons. I think I want, I thought maybe I wanted black. Silver might work though. Silver might just do the trick. So let's put the meal icon there. And then let's do a today sticker. And put it here at the top. And let's use the pink checklist this time. No rhyme or reason, just... I like to use contrasting colors on my page. I like when things don't necessarily match, if you haven't noticed, <laughs> by the way, I plan. Um, and a little bit of decoration. Again, there's not much spring decoration on these pages. How about these rain boots? These are cute. Look at that, that is cute. And then we will do the same thing for the next page. For this one, let's use the pattern, the floral pattern. Again, let's skip a line, go down, and then let's put our Header, let's do remember. Let's draw it, let's use the darker yellow and see if that shows up. 
and then we go over it twice just because my lines are not straight. And then do I have a darker pink? Let's try the Zig Clean Color Dot Marker. They also have a nib that you can draw skinnier with. That pink is lighter than I anticipated, but that's okay. Again, I use the same layout in my Stalogy, but I do like to try out new things from time to time. So if it ends up being a layout that I don't like, then it's a learning experience and I'll know what to do or not do for the next layout. So for this one, I'm going to keep going with what I'm doing because I do kind of like it. And it's easier than trying to find a sticker for everything because sometimes I just don't have a sticker <laughs> for what I want. Um, and then let's do a today header. And let's do, I feel like there's not much red. That red is really bright. So let's do the green one again. And that page is done. I feel like I'm kind of on a roll. I kind of want to set up another week in my Stalogy just to see just to see what I could do. Because I'm in the planning spirit right now. Let's see, we have these boxes. Where's the other box page? Here we go. Um, for this one, let's use the sticker that says, always be kind. And then, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of not feeling these boxes that I'm drawing here. But like I said, I am going to keep going. Maybe it'll grow on me. We'll see how I, how used to it I get while I'm using it throughout the week. Um, and then let's use the green. I wish I had a darker green. I probably do have a darker green somewhere in my stash. But do I want to look for one now? I have so many tumble markers. Yeah, I don't want to look for a darker green right now. We're just going to work with what we have here. And then I would like a meal icon. I wonder why Michaels has stopped having planner supplies. I don't understand why they would why they would take that out of their stores, but the stores near me here in Chicago just don't have planners. They don't have planners, they have washi tape, and they don't have stickers. And I don't understand it, but... And also, Joanne filed for bankruptcy, and that was surprising. So I went there looking for sales and good deals, and I did buy a Happy Planner notebook, but they didn't really have any amazing deals going on while I was there, so I don't know what's going on with that. I also don't know if they're closing down stores during the bankruptcy. I don't know. I hope not. I didn't really go to Joanne that often for planner supplies or stickers or anything, but I like having the option of having different stores to go to. So I would like them to stay around, but, you know... Times change, sometimes things don't work out and it's sad, but hopefully, hopefully this just means I can find smaller sticker shops that I like instead of relying on the big box stores. I usually shop at the big box stores because they're easier to go to and 
I don't have to pay for shipping and things like that. But you know what? I like supporting smaller shops when I can. So maybe that's what I will have to start doing now that Joanne is uh, going through bankruptcy and Michael's no longer has planner supplies. Um, I have been shopping Happy Planner website and Erin um, um, Condren website for planners. So we'll see how that ends up working out for me once I have been in them for a while. I need my today headers. I realize there's only six today headers. That seems weird. I don't know why they wouldn't just put seven. We can use the pink here. I like the pink hearts and the green flowers the best. So let's use this checklist again. And let's use this checklist again. I'm not even certain I'm lining this up correctly. But... Let's find some deco to put down. Uh, we have the ladybug. This flower could work. We have that, but Easter is over. Yeah, let's just use this flower. I usually like to put a big piece of deco down in this side, let's see, like here I put down flowers with a quote or something like really decorative, but this sticker book doesn't really have that much in it. And then for the last two pages, we will use this pattern. Here. And then I could either use the ladybugs, best day ever, the flag garland, the hearts would have been nice for Valentine's Day. Let's use the garland. And then let's put down our headers. We are almost done. We are almost done. So let's put down, don't forget and remember. Again, let's use the dark yellow one here. Let's use the green one. Oh, I'm using green on green. Uh, what other color? Pink. Let's use the pink one here. And let's use, let's just use the yellow one. I keep pulling off the wrong end. The yellow here. And pink here, only because the green doesn't really stand out that much, so. And then let's get our dinner icons. And I'm not sure if I'm going to actually plan in this video. This might just be a decorate with me because I'm planning ahead and I don't necessarily know right now what my plans will be for April 15th through the 21st. So I will probably hold off on actually writing in my plans. 
but hopefully this will give you ideas of how to use up your stash. Again, this American Craft sticker book is a, an old one from 2017. So if you have old sticker books that you're not sure if you want to use them because they're out of style or not what is the cutest, <laughs> um, go ahead and use your stash. That's, that's really what this is about. I'm trying to find what header I want to use for here because I don't have another today. I used remember. I could just use don't forget. And then I do want a to buy section because Sundays is when we run our errands and I need a, oh, that's green on green. Let's do, let's just do the hearts again, the pink hearts. And then underneath it, I will put my to buy list, which is introducing red, which I was trying not to do. But here we go. Let's put this one here. And let's use this to buy checklist here. Again, it doesn't line up with the squares, so I'm going to have to find another way to check off the items on my list. That's cute. That's actually really cute. And we need some decoration on the page because they look so bare. Let's see, I have no choice but to use the ladybug. That's the only spring-like item I see on this page. So that page is done. Let's see, we have these flowers here. Let's put them here. And then that's Halloween, summer, Christmas, fall, summer. Oh, we have these flowers. Let's put those there. And, oh, we have the umbrella. Let's use this, that's so cute. Let's put it above the flowers and let's use the raindrops underneath it. That's adorable. The placement of these uh, raindrops aren't necessarily the best that I've done, but there you go. Some rain coming down. And we do have more flowers. Where can we put these? Let's put that one there. And I saw a pink one. Let's put that one there. And I think, I think we did a good job using up the deco from that sheet. Oh, there's this sheet too. think let's just use this flower and then I think we've used enough like that that's so cute that's cuter than I expected it would be I'm happy let's see do I want to use anything else from here I could save these to use in my hourly planner because I don't use a lot of box stickers in there. So I could do that. I'm kind of sad I couldn't use more of these quotes. Let's see, this goes in this sticker book. These, let's see, do I want to use any of these? In full bloom? Um, no, I'm not gonna use quotes. I'm just gonna put those back into that sticker book. And let's do a flip through of what we have done so far. So this is how I've decorated my Stology for the week of April 15th through the 21st. 
We have a weekly dashboard with a checklist for this week, habit trackers, a notes area for this week, and a notes area for next week that I will use until I decorate the following week. And then we have a day per page. So we have um, a box, a notes area for today, for this day, a place to track my meals, a checklist for the day of priority items that I want to get done, and a little space that sometimes is blank, or I could use it to journal, write a blurb about the day, or to extend my to-do list if I need to. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video and hanging out with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.